alongside the military war between Israel and Hamas, there's also a war of narratives about the conflict, and it's especially prevalent here at the United Nations in New York, where Israel has been battered due to its response to Hamas's October 7th massacre and the high civilian casualty toll in Gaza. Uh, Israeli ambassador to the United Nations, Gilad Erdan, presented diplomats, ambassadors, and U.N. officials with an opportunity here on Monday to view 45 minutes of footage of the massacre itself, including footage from Hamas GoPro and phone cameras, along with closed caption footage in the several of the massacre sites. Erdan afterwards said that uh, he wasn't surprised by the reactions of those in attendance and hopes it will have some impact diplomatically going forward. People are either shocked or very sad uh, because it, as human beings, it's very sad to see children screaming uh, one minute after they lost their dad. I know this building very well. I understand international politics. I know that many of these countries, they play by their internal political interests. But we are all human beings, and you can never know who of the ambassadors who watched this terrible footage might wake up and, and, and tell his country and tell his leaders what he, what he saw here today. Earlier on on Monday, Israeli supporters, together with families of hostages being held in Gaza, protested outside the United Nations Children's Fund building, UNICEF. Monday is International Children's Day. They say that the UNICEF and the UN in general not doing enough to protect those children being held hostage in Gaza. Those same supporters have protested outside the home of United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres two Fridays in a row, urging him to do more to bring the hostages home. They say they will continue to do so on a weekly basis until those hostages return to Israel.